today I'm going to make my yummy strawberry pie. So what we have is we have a frozen pie dish and we just let it come out to room temperature for about 10 minutes. So now it's ready to go in. So I'm just going to show you a little trick just to make it very homemade looking. See, you see how it looks like this before. What we're going to do is take two of our fingers and we're just going to go like that. It just makes it very homemade looking. If you don't want to do this, don't do it, but it's easy. Just like that. Perfect. So now we have our oven preheated at 350. We're going to take our fork. This is very important because it, otherwise it'll puff up. Take our fork and make little slits. Not little slits, little holes. All around the sides. Just like that. Perfect. All right, so now, in a 350 degree oven for like eight to 10 minutes, just until it starts getting brown. You don't want it burnt, you just want it cooked. All right, so I messed up, it's okay, I'm blonde. It was actually 15 minutes, so, but now it's ready. And I just want to point out that this is a convection oven, which like the fan circulates all the air and stuff. And a lot of ovens, it doesn't cook as, um, as consistent, so maybe halfway if you want to turn it, you see it's getting brown, browner on one side. So this is exactly what you want, just a nice golden brown color. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit on the side and let that cool while we do this. So over here we have one cup of sugar. We have one cup of water. We're going to pour some of it, but not most of it. Perfect. So we have we're going to put two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. And what you want, it, what we're doing this on the side is because cornstarch makes lumpies and we don't want lumpies. Alright, so now, get it all in there. So now with the fork, we're just going to, you just want to whisk it in here. See, and it makes just like a perfect like white milk looking color. Now if we put it in here, then it would make it uh, really lumpy and there's no getting those lumps out. So we need to go ahead and put this on. Put this in here too. Now let's put our gelatin. We want to cook it until it's nice and thick. So here we have our gelatin. You want about three ounces total. So we're going to go ahead and put these in here. Oh, and it's strawberry gelatin. So we want to put packages of gelatin in. These are 1.5, so I just want two ounces. You want to put this on about medium heat. You just want it to dissolve that sugar and make the gelatin form. All right, perfect. So we mix it all together. I'm going to let that cook for about three to five minutes just until it starts slightly bubbling. You can see it getting thicker. All right, so now we're done with that. Do a little cleanup. All right, so now we have our strawberries. We have about a quart of strawberries, which is um, four cups. So we just loosely packed them. And we have our pretty ones, and then we have our ugly ones. So with the ugly ones, you just want to slice them up, the ones that have bruises or starting to look a little old. We can still use them. They're still good. So we have these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put those, we're going to have our cream cheese. This is so good, by the way. I love this recipe. So we have eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm, I'm using low fat. You don't have to if you don't want to, but try to watch the figure. You know what I mean? So we have this. We are going to open it, and we are going to spread it. Let's give this a little stir. don't want it sticking or anything. We are going to spread it onto our nice brown pie shell. Let me get a spatula. Alright, so we have our spatula and we have our cream cheese. 
I'm going to go ahead and put it all in here. If you want to, this is just if you want to, you can go ahead and put this in like a bowl and mix it around with um, some more sugar, give it a little bit more sweetness, or if you want to put some vanilla extract in there and go crazy, you can. This is still a little hard. Oh, and you want to leave your cream cheese out so it's from temperature. You don't want it cold. And it won't be so easy to spread. So I'm going to go ahead and try and spread this around. And our pie crust has cooled down a little bit. Makes it easier for handling. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. So this is the hardest part. It's okay. Just want to... Make it kind of even because you want the strawberries to sit evenly. So you're going to pour that gelatin over the whole thing and it's going to make it delicious. So we're going to go ahead and put this all on the bottom. And make sure you cover the bottom. It's starting to boil a little bit, it's starting to simmer slowly. So this looks just about good. It doesn't have to be perfect because that's what you won't see it. All you want is just to taste the nice cream cheese. All right, that's good. Just like that. So now we are going to put our strawberries on. We have our sliced strawberries. I'm going to go ahead and make a nice layer of those. If you want to do these sliced strawberries all the way, um, every, <laughs> everything you can, but I don't, I like to make them pretty looking. Kind of pack them in there. I want to make like a nice little ledge to put up the pretty ones on. Right, so this is perfect, huh? I'll show you. It's just starting to thicken up. A little bit longer. Let's let that thicken up a little bit longer. I'm just putting these on. This is a great summer um, dessert too. Really fresh, and these strawberries are in season, and they're delicious. So, alrighty. Press them down just a little bit. So now we're gonna start arranging them. Let's see, let's put our little one in there. This is our littlest one. Just gonna go ahead. Doesn't have to be perfect. I want to see some of the strawberries at the bottom. All right. And then you're going to put the gelatin over them. All you'll see are these yummy strawberries. Now, if you want to do more on the top, you can, but whatever, it's fine. All right. So this is really bubbly. Now we just want to turn this off, let it cool for just about two minutes. So in two minutes when it's cool, we'll come back and we're just going to spoon it over and pour it on top of it. All right, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. We just want to cool it slightly and it's become nice and thick. So with our spoon, we just want to pour it over the berries. Make them nice and shiny. And make sure you cover all of them. Just like that. Look how nice it's going on too. And then when you refrigerate it, it'll get nice and the gelatin and be perfect. Perfect summer dessert. Alrighty. Pour it all over here. Another thing to impress with, this is great to bring to a picnic or something or a barbecue. Ooh. Pour it over here just a little bit. You might not use all of this, so it's okay. Alrighty. And that looks just about good. I hope you guys like it. Put it in the refrigerator and let it cool at least an hour before you eat it.